Hey there, QuickBook users and financial enthusiasts. Welcome back again to our channel. And today we're diving into QuickBooks Online to explore the art of matching transactions from your bank feeds. We believe that it's a crucial step in keeping your financial records accurate. So before we dive into today's tutorial, let me just make sure that you don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest adventures and keep you on the loop for future content and once again to our returning uh, viewers welcome back we appreciate your ongoing support and can't wait to embark on this journey with all of you once again now let me just say uh, that there are reasons why matching transactions in QuickBooks Online with bank transaction is an essential part of maintaining accurate financial records. Why? F one of their primary reasons is is to reconcile your QB QBR records with your bank statement. It ensures that your records accurately reflect your actual bank balance, right? helping you identify any discrepancies or errors. And by matching transactions, you can ensure that all income and expenses are properly recorded in QBR, reducing the risk of financial errors. And you have the ability to track and categorize expenses efficiently. You can even assign expenses to appropriate accounts or categories to QBO making it easier to monitor your business's financial health. Regularly matching transactions helps identify unauthorized or fraudulent transactions. If you notice any discrepancies between you, your bank statement, and QBO records, you can investigate further to prevent fraud, right? It's um, an essential tool, really viable to help you make smoother transactions and can also be essential for budgeting and forecasting and making strategic decisions for your business. So, first of all, you got to log into your um, QuickBooks account online using your credentials. And once again, if you don't have one, just make a QuickBooks uh, account. It's simple, it's easy, and it's really fast. Once you have all of that, when you log in, from the left menu, you hover to uh, banking. And since if you've watched some of our uh, videos in the past, since this is a training account, we can really hover to allow live accounts here, but you can access the banking center. And then in the banking center, you will see a list of your bank transactions that have been important so be mindful and have a moment to review all of them right and to match transactions automatically quickbooks will suggest possible matches based on similar amounts dates and pays so simply uh, click match next to the suggested transactions to confirm the match and then for transactions that require manual matching you have to select recent transaction in quickbooks that corresponds to uh, the bank transactions and once that you finalize it you click the match button and quickbooks will link uh, the true transactions hold on let me check and once you are satisfied uh you assign them to the appropriate income or expense accounts and then yada then you, you you click confirm right and you will see uh your match transactions in the quickbooks tab you have to review them take your time to ensure accuracy and by any chance if you made a mistake or need to unmatch a transaction all you gotta do is simply click undo to remove the match right and then just be sure that matching transaction from your bank feeds in quickbooks online um you have to make a uh, note worthy of uh observing that you have to get the right information so to make it a breeze right 
it's a vital step to keep your financial records in sync with your bank statement. And once again, thank you for joining us in this short tutorial. If you find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more QuickBooks and financial management tips. If you have any questions, guys, please leave a comment. And if you need further assistance, don't be shy, all right? Until next time, may your bank feeds always match yours effortlessly.